uh, utilizing standard video recording. I'm actually using uh, 60 FPS, 1080p for actually 60 FPS 4K on the camera. I'm actually using 1080p. I'm actually using 4K 60 on the iPhone Pro Max. I'm actually using 4K 60 on the iPhone Max. Or, oh my. I'm actually using. What up, Tech and Gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. Welcome to my channel. And if it's your 30th time back, welcome back a 30th time. And be sure to subscribe and follow because otherwise you're just stealing from me or just putting a comment, hey, I'm taking your videos and I'm not subscribing. What? Well, either way, I appreciate your return. And in today's return, right, we're gonna be reviewing something cool, another microphone. That's right, a 90th microphone. However, huh, this microphone is a little different, a little special, right? Because it is a microphone wireless kit for your iPhone. That's right, only iPhone users. Sorry, Android guys, but maybe we have something for you in the future. Maybe this company will make something for you in the future, but this one is for you, all you iPhone users or potential iPhone new users, right? Switching from Android to iPhone. The device we are talking about today is the Lee Winner wireless, uh, basically iPhone wireless mic kit. Boom, in your face. And this is the cool little cute wireless iPhone device mic I am referring to, right? Uh, this looks kind of cool. Now I will say that I have not looked into this device at all. So this is gonna be a surprise for both you and I, a full unboxing, right? I don't know what comes in the box, how it's set it up. I know nothing. So we're gonna do it together, Tech and Gamers. And we're gonna do it right now in three seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Ho, live Tech and Gamers. Here we are with the unboxing of the device. And I will say this is a nice, cool little dirty boxing here, right? So now I have not yet opened this device up. So it will be a surprise for both me and you. Let me get on my handy dandy huh, Batman knife here and slice this bad boy open if I know how to use it. So opening the box, this is what you will see. You will see your device front and center, the Lee Winner wireless mic set, the white, the mic, the white kit. The white kit. The mic kit, along with a little box here, which I assume is your USB-C charger. But let's go ahead and pull out the device itself and looking at it, looks like they did some Apple-ish kind of plastic wrapper around it, but Let's go ahead and take that out. And right off the rip, we have a nice little cigarette box style kind of casing, right? And it opens up like a box of cigarettes, techies and gamers. You have your two devices there, right? One, I assume, is your wireless mic as well as your receiver, which plugs into your iPhone. And looking at the bottom of it, there is a plastic sheet there covering the little three prongs you see. And that's probably to protect it or to just not have it charged, but let's peel that off. Peeling it off and having it exposed, that I assume will have the device charging once you dock it on the inside, right? And once I put it in, yep, it has lit up nice and green. That's the wireless mic piece. Very tiny, Techsy Gamers. This is a very tiny little mic and the mic is front facing, kind of cool, has a logo. And it will probably just clip onto your shirt in that fashion, either on the inside or probably on the outside. The second device is the wireless receiver, which is in fact an iPhone device, right? It connects to your iPhone. It is a lightning connection port here, right? This does not charge in the case, so it will be powered by your iPhone. Relatively small, light kilograms in weight. So I would assume that it will not be taking much of your battery of your iPhone if any at all, right? So don't worry about that tech easy gamers. Also in the box is this cool little white box, uh, which is your charger cable. And it is in fact, USB-C to USB-A tech easy gamers moving into the future with the USB-C all around the board. And your USB-C charger is on the bottom of this device. That's where you would plug it in to charge your case. In effect, charging your microphone. What else is in the box? And finally, we have our instructions, which is actually underneath the actual, this is a nice little soft cushion kind of foam to protect your device, right? Nice little packaging here with your uh, user manual, I assume, right? Yep, wow, my user manual came up quite beat up. Um, so this has been manhandled probably in a factory somewhere. Use your manual, cool beans. We don't read those. We'll just toss that to the side. And those are the full contents of the box. Let's go ahead and wrap this box up. We're gonna jump right into plugging this into our iPhone and testing the audio quality. For that purpose, we're gonna be using the iPhone 13 Pro Maximilian. Technically gamers, sometimes you just want a device, you just want to turn it on, you want it to work. 
Let's see if this is one of those things, right? This is already turned on and it looks like it automatically synced with this device already lit up green on the bottom and this already lit up green. So it, indicating that there may be already a connection. Just plugged it in, didn't have to do much. So let's go ahead and check my stock camera app to see if this works. I'll connect this to my shirt, Techies and Gamers on the outside, just for your viewing pleasure. And we're gonna test out what this is about, without a doubt, no clout. What, stop rhyming. All right, Techies and Gamers, so I have just plugged this device into the iPhone, the receiver. I have hooked up the mic to my shirt. I have done nothing else. Let me know what this audio sounds like. I'm gonna make a quick switch to the onboard audio so we can do a quick comparison just to see what the iPhone sounds like in comparison to having an external mic like this. Stop the video right now. This is take two without the Lee Winner wireless mic connected to my iPhone. This is the onboard mic of the iPhone. I found, what did I find? iPhone, Tech Easy Gamers, let me know what this audio sounds like, what you think. Tech Easy Gamers, I took a quick little moment intermission to actually listen to that audio over my phone. And just listening to it through the iPhone speakers, it's kind of worlds apart. Uh, for one, I noticed that it did record in stereo, at least it sounded that way to my ears. And two, there is some kind of noise cancellation built into the device. If you just saw the video I played, you will see that I had my HVAC going and without the actual mic here in use, you can hear that HVAC sound, those fans blowing. And when I put the Lee Winner on, it did a great job at canceling out most of that background noise. So there is noise cancellation built into this Tech Easy Gamers, impressive to 80 bucks. Um, I'm gonna dive more into this. Stay tuned right now, let's go. What I wanna do in this video is I wanna do a quick little comparison between um, this Canon SL3 camera I have, which is, you know, it's not even as expensive as the iPhone. However, um, it does produce quite a fantastic quality and compare it with this iPhone on a tripod side by side, just to see if you if you can get away with it, right? Using this wireless mic device connected here, because I'm all about the wireless mic because I'm too crazy jumping around. And how I will do that is I will just throw my iPhone up here on this cool little gimbal thingamajig, right? I will just slide this up and I'm gonna use my front facing camera, right? Actually my rear camera, which is the better camera. And I'm going to use that to record me as well as the audio side by side with this Canon camera. Techies and Gamers, just for you because we're Techies and Gamers, we want the best quality. Sometimes we want bang for buck. Let's do it, jump. Ha, Techies and Gamers, here we are with the side by side comparison with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? Utilizing the Lee Winner uh, wireless mic kit I have here in your face. And on the left or right, I'm not sure which side it's gonna be on, is the Canon SO3 utilizing the Uhuru wireless mic kit system you see there as well. Now, I have been using that Uhuru wireless mic for quite some time and it's been a marriage ever since. It's very low profile, the audio is great. When doing sound editing, this is the sound you're getting, right? So this is the Canon SL3 you're hearing, and we're gonna switch over to the Lee Winner, and this is what the Lee Winner wireless mic kit that you see right here, what it sounds like. Techies and gamers, now, um, can you get away with it? Right now, I am actually using cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, so I don't know how well it's doing with like lighting and that sort of thing, um, because right now it's creating this probably software bokeh kind of effect, right? Software versus hardware, focusing right on the sl3 so you tell me how it looks like the gamers could you get away with this kind of view this perspective this color this lighting this video you tell me it may not be as good with the focusing and creating this blurred background effect the way the sl3 is looking at my little black hair here it's crispy every little hair is crispy because we are using hardware based focusing with the lens on the canon sl3 on the iphone 13 pro max we are using software kind of smart sensing of the background, right? LiDAR probably being in use to blur out what may be considered the background, right? It's doing its best to kind of capture what's in the foreground and background, but I may be losing all of these little hairs, I assume, at least with the previous iPhone, that's what's happening. You tell me, Tech the Gamers, but I'm gonna switch this to standard video on iPhone 13 Pro without the cinematic, just to see what it looks like side by side with the SO3, and you tell me if you can get away with it and you can be in flee. Ah, Tech the Gamers, here we are side by side with the standard video app, right? The camera app on the iPhone. I'm actually using 4K 60 on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. 
And on my Canon SL3, it is 1080p 60. What looks better, techies and gamers? I mean, obviously, I downgraded the video to 1080p, but this is the sound and audio quality of the Canon SL3. Microphone check, 1212. And this is the quality of iPhone 13 Pro Max with the Lee Winner wireless mic kit that we are looking at today. Techies and gamers, ladies and gents, cats and dogs, what? I right, Techies and gamers, appreciate you watching the video. What do I think of this? In summation, right? Why did I use that big word? Is it a viable, capable, um, something to consider using professionally, probably, for your video recordings, right? YouTube, Twitch, absolutely. It's saucy, Techies and gamers, uh, for a number of reasons. One, the built-in noise cancellation. Wow, this is quite nice. I actually had my HVAC blowing lots of air here. It's in the next room next to me. And you can hear it awesomely because, awesome, because HVAC sounds awesome. You can hear it quite loudly because the door there is not kind of sealed, right? It's kind of one of those slider doors. Um, but right now I have noise cancellation going through my OBS, the way I'm recording through my Canon. This does it naturally, built in, right? Not all of it, not as good as, it do, as it's working now. But with a little bit of video editing post-production, you can get a nice sound out of this. Another awesome sauce thing about this device is that it is wireless charging, right? So you can have this plugged into this little case here so long as it has battery life. And you can charge your microphone wirelessly through here. But of course, you have to connect your case via USB-C to charge. But um, still has a nice case to keep protected in one place. You just carry this little bad boy in your pocket wherever you go. And you have a mic system for your iPhone. I love that you don't have to do anything. It's auto pairing. You just connect it to your iPhone, you put your mic wherever you want to put it, and it's ready to go. There's nothing for you to do, no pairing, no pressing of buttons or holding anything for three seconds. And last but not least, the audio quality. Listening to the audio quality straight off of the iPhone is definitely much better than the iPhone microphone itself. If I had to critique anything, um, I would say that the mic probably should have been pointing upward, right? This, if I put and plug it in this way, the mic is actually pointing out that way. All right, take the game is thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time. Uh, let me know what you think of this device. Put in the comments, the audio sound, the quality comparison, all that fun stuff. More than happy to answer your questions. And as usual, subscribe, follow, stalk me if you want. No, don't do that. That's too much.